Hello and welcome to today's Up to Daisy video. Today I'm going to be putting together a weight loss spread. So on the left here you can see my body stencil, measurement stencil, and on the right is the goal tracker stencil. So starting with the body stencil, I'm going to first of all create the banner across the top of the page. Um, and if you don't complete all of the lines across the bottom of the banner, it enables you to draw in a little bit of extra detail with the fold so it looks like the banner folds around the page. And then we're going to go around the body shape and what you'll find here is with the fine detail part, so the in between the legs and in between the arms, if you pop a finger just to hold the stencil down, it means that the stencil won't move while you're tracing around. I'm then going to add in the lines where the, the measurements will be and at the bottom of the page there's details, um, a design of a scales and a little box for you to put your, your weight into. Then moving over onto the goal tracker, what this will do is create a, a countdown so I can fill in the squares as I lose pounds. So just following across all of the boxes, each box across will equate to one pound loss. And there's also an arrow, so there's five pounds on each row. Now, I looking at, at how many pounds I want to lose, you can add in more boxes or less boxes depending on what you want to do. Um, and then add in the finish. And what I'm going to do is just add in a little bit of um, colouring into the, the start at the top as well, making sure I leave the hole in the A and the R so they're quite easy to read. Now that the colouring's done, what I'm going to do is place markers along the side of the page is so for each five pounds loss it's a checkpoint and I'll give myself a little reward and then I'm putting a space at the bottom of the page um, to write down what those rewards will be. I'm just adding in a finish flag um, at the top and, and the bottom of the page and I'm going to checker those um, just to go along with the kind of race theme. Adding in that checker detail there and again to the top. Um, and now time to add in my wording so I'm just putting my measurements across the top. And then adding on the tab um, markers so left arm, right arm. Um, left leg, right leg, hips, waist and chest and then my weight at the bottom. Now it's time to add a bit of colour so using my Tombow jewel tips I'm going for kind of a pink and teal colour theme for this spread. So I'm not going to colour in the boxes because we're going to colour in those one by one as we lose weight. So I quite like that most of it is black and white, we're going to add colour as we go along um, and then add in a little bit of colour to the measurements page. And I quite like the idea of doing this measurements page repeated throughout the journal, so maybe one every month or, or every quarter just to keep track of how they're changing. Adding in a little bit of colour to the scales. And then I'm just going to outline where it says measurements just so that there's got some colour on there as well. And outline the, the weight box too. And then what I'm going to do is using coloured pencils in coordinated colours, just fill in those two areas where it says my measurements and weight, just so that it's light enough that you can still see the wording over the top, um, but kind of fits in with the theme. Now 
and that's a completed spread i hope you've enjoyed the video today um don't forget to hit follow for, for more detail and all the equipment used will be listed in the description underneath the video thanks very much for watching have a great day